Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be playing with the Beauty Bay Earthly Palette. It released yesterday. I got mine today in the post because I have a whole pass. Uh, thankfully they stuck to the next day on this launch because they didn't on the Age of Opulence but this is what it looks like on the inside. Excuse me. Got a dog sniffing in my makeup drawer. Not a euphemism. Not a euphemism. Um, yeah. So this is what we've been talking about. I haven't used the neutrals, obviously. We don't tend to play with that here, but they do have some quite interesting shades. Uh, different tones, they're not all just brown. So, yes. Uh, if you haven't seen me do this look, if you want to hear my thoughts, if you want to just play around with makeup, have me in the background, anything, just please do keep on watching. Not that close. <laughs> Let's not learn. Let's learn from our mistake last time. Um, as I said in the, in the intro, we're going to be playing with the Earthly Palette from Beauty Bay. I haven't even stuck my fingers in this one yet. I did do some swatch comparisons of the Midnight and some of the older palettes because apparently there were a lot of repeat shades. Some of them had the same name but were different shades, and some of them. It was weird. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We are here for the Earthy Palette. Um, I asked my patrons what they wanted to see and this is what they picked. So, that's what we're going with. I haven't, at least I haven't even stuck my fingers in this one yet. So I don't know what I'm doing. But who's surprised? Not me. Um, let's just stick this on my face, shall we? Try to make this different to my last green look that I posted with the... Angelica palette. So this is seaweed on a PC22. No, I'm not picking the palette up because it is huge. I don't want to blind you guys with the mirror. Now that is a very pigmented green. Can't, like I said, I would lift it up. I cannot. The thought of bending it back stresses me out. Like I've just seen, watched Kerry's video with the Midnight palette. Go and check her out. She also has full swatches of these palettes. But the thought of bending it backwards stresses me out no end. And then, gosh, that's such an interesting shade. I've just literally just spotted this cobra shade. I've not even, I've not touched anything yet. It's such an interesting. Like interesting green colour. Looks really interesting pan. Anyway, let's not get distracted. Let's go in with leafy. We're looking for leafy. Leafy. If you get the reference, let me know down below. There are some quite interesting looking shimmers in this palette as well. Like as soon as I opened it up, there's a shade called Wit that caught my eye. It looks like... Very similar to the Angelica one, actually. I wonder why I like it. That black with a green reflect. But yeah. I was going to go for that one and then I realised just how similar it was going to be to my Angelica video. Which, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a three looks video with um, Angelica and Odin's Eye palette. Wipe my hair off so I don't get black everywhere. Um, now there isn't a black in this palette, should I say. Just a shimmering one. Um, there is. It looks like a very, very, very pale grey. Another PC22. Let's see what, which way do we want to take this. I think we want to go bright rather than grungy. There are some quite interesting shades in here, like Whistle and Corduroy. Are re really interesting. I might even do brownie base look. I know. Who am I? This is Apple, by the way. Am 
reminds me of the Granny Smith shade from the Bright Mats. Third time I might even do two looks with this. I don't think I do that. I need to uh, go to my sister's. I might have a play with that one on my own time. There's quite a lot of blending out shades in this, which I'm liking. Uh, but yeah, a palette this large, I'd be surprised if there weren't. Let's go in with Rave. Let's do that one. It's a very bright pastel green. I mean, you may just know the formula and they do it well. And the colour stories as well. Like, I think a lot of the shades they incorporated into the Midnight are some of the favourites from the Book of Magic and the Age of Opulence, so I think people would stop. I'm going for that to come back a little bit. Hopefully it'll reduce the price gouging as well. That's just not what makeup is about, is it? Nope. I'm just literally just seeing these shades as I go. Like they look really interesting. I've literally just been a magpie in this palette. I'm doing my makeup and then being like, ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny. Okay, let's go back through with seaweed, just because we've lost a bit of that depth with the old pastel. It kind of reminds me of Ivy in the Wilderness, but it's definitely darker. As far as I remember. Anyway, I've literally just put those palettes back and I'm not getting them back out because our shelves all the way over there. Okay, now what do we want to do? Mm -mm. I really want to use that shamrock shade because it looks such a vibrant green. But then what shimmer? on that look but that feels like a waste with all of these very pretty shimmers mm, okay hold please okay we're gonna go into that shamrock shade on the lid and I think we're gonna tap over a shimmer rather than giving it such a big impact at the now this looks really ropey on camera, I swear it doesn't in real life. I swear the camera looks like I've got loads of space up there as well. Weird. Um, go into a bit of seahorse on a... Guess what? PC22. Real like blue, almost like a blue mint pastel. Very strange. Not mad at it. And then I'm gonna go in with. Da, 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 da. Where's my brush? I don't know. I cleaned all these other and now it's disappeared. Let's just go grab, grab this one. So we've uh. Two, three, four. Look, smoky shade. I want to go in with that shamrock shade. I'm going to pack this all over the lid. Now that is a beautiful green.
such a proper true green but not the dark if that makes any sense you know what I ever find that it's really hard to get eyeshadow right close to your last one just me we might jazz this up with some glitter in a bit who knows now then these are the two that I'm debating tapping over. I'm going to use this for in a corner and just tap this one over. Just because I can. This is Pixie, by the way, which is a really beautiful shade. Not that you're going to get its full effect in this look, but. Just what I felt like doing. Interesting. Okay. I'm just going to take that seaweed shade again. Just bring this into the inner corner. Just help blend that shimmer into my depth. I'm really liking how this is looking at the minute. What do we think? I know I need to darken this bit up further, but I don't think you guys have to sit here and watch me finagle. Or fanny around, as Miss would say. Right, I'm going to shove my base on and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we look a little bit different from when you last saw me. I am still trying to get better at graphic liner. I don't think I've 100% succeeded, but it's a work in progress, so. Similarly, I am trying out the Silence is Golden Blush. I'm not sure if it's for me. I do think I just look a little bit jaundice. But my photograph nicely, so. We'll see. Just looking in my viewfinder to see how crazy I look on camera. Um, and then I just took a bit of apple, corduroy and whistle. I'm just going to blend my eyeshadow into the blush. Just because I've gone a bit crazy with the blush, so why not with dragging this out? Am I gonna add gems? Maybe. I feel like I add gems when I'm not happy with the look, or I'm really happy with the look, and there's no in between. Either add gems to make myself white the look, or make myself really really like a look that I've done already and it's just so if you ever see me with the gems on you'll be wondering which one it is um, and then I'm going to go on with a PC31 in the shade seaweed I'm going to go in with whatever was on this brush. I think it was apple. I don't know. Do I look crazy? Mm, I'm not sure on this one, guys. Let me know what you think. Am I just being too hard on myself? Am I just being accurate to what we see? 
Is it terrible? I'm just going to go into grey on a sketch it out to be a big brush and just pop that there. We might make a nice face highlight actually because it's got a green sparkle to it. Let's just take a PC10, go in with a bit of a right there. We might as well lean into the crazy. Okay, I'm gonna stick some lashes on, put it on my lip, and I'll be back in a sec. Alright, guys, finish look. I went in with the usual lashes. I don't even put anything in my waterline actually. Maybe I should have done that. Um, that's clever. Super. I even got one out. Um, lashes are shockingly Clara by House of Boo. One of the other, not. I really need to buy more of these. I just love the flare on them. But I think they're out of stock at the minute. So if anyone knows of any similar, let me know. Uh, the lipstick is Frenchie by Aboni, I think that's how you say it. Um, could be wrong. Yeah. So, this palette. That's what we're here for. Um, wonderful beauty, big quality as normal. Like I said, I've not really dipped into that many shades because there's 42 shades in here and... It really is a lot. Um, the shimmers that I have swatched, should I say, because I've not really, I've only used one, two of them, two of them on my face today. Um, usual Bube putty formula, the mattes are really nice. Um, I think they've actually upped the quality a little bit over like the bright mattes type thing, uh, that era, but yeah. I'm really happy that I have it. I will um, be playing with it quite a lot. I do have the Midnight as well. If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. Um, and I do have the Berries, which is downstairs. That I didn't bring up because I was comparing the palettes to my um, existing limited edition palettes just to see how many repeat shades there are. So, yeah. Um, I really like the palette, very happy I have it. I got 20% off as well, if you use app 20 I think it is, you get 20% off. If you're using the app, believe it or not. So yeah, 20 quid for that many shades, I'm very happy and they're all really good quality from what I can tell so far. So, big fan, um, I'm going to go and take some pictures. I might put some gems on, undecided. But yeah, that is it. That is the whole kit and caboodle, as Teresa would say. And yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe. My Patreon and all my social social medias are in the um, description box. And yeah, that's it from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Bye.